we're, uh, we're back. So we're back here with the top eight. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the top eight match, the ARG Circuit Series. Uh, Team Wars, super excited here in beautiful Hartford, Cali uh, Hartford, Connecticut. I always call it California. Still got that San Jose uh, in me. Uh, anyway, guys, we have uh, Jordan Silver on the blue side uh, playing against Arturo Rodriguez on the right side playing the red player. Uh, double S3 mirror, going to be awesome. I'm going to uh, let you guys, uh, let Pat O'Neill and John Tad take this off, and uh, I'll be back for top four and the finals, guys. Love you. See you soon. All right, so we're going uh, hot and heavy here right off the bat. These players are uh, not shy to uh, Just go, quick. go crazy here. Yeah, this, is, this is fast, a couple of turns. So it looks like... Arturo here is uh, on veggies. Did not know that till just now. So, we, red, looks like red green veggies. Yeah, very similar match with probably the last one. Right? Yep. Jordan yes. is again on the mostly red SS3. Very small amount of blue, just enough for coercion. Yep. So, no stranger. So, Arturo very clearly the ahead. The way he places his life and energy is very. Yeah, he kind of diagonal. I, I am on tilt and I am not even playing, yeah. so <laughs> I, I can't imagine being in Jordan's shoes right now. I would just Jordan's really hard could, to tell. I would um, just combust. All right, so let's try to catch up here. Arturo has double Cabo, Khalifa. Looks like he has Jiren. Cards and energy. He so. just tap out the robot here. Oh yeah. yeah. That is awesome. Real though. Yeah. I think if you're what does Real do? Real though. So when Real though comes into play, you choose all of your opponent's battle cards and give them minus ten thousand power. Then when he attacks, you choose a character with ten thousand less power and KO. Yep. So he basically gets to kill all your Kabas when he enters. And yeah. then when the Real though will attack the leader, yep. he gets to choose the uh, the Khalifa because it's only ten thousand for this turn and KO. Yes. So it's basically it's a board wipe. Yep. It's basically Raigeki for you old school Yu-Gi-Oh players. So Arturo takes the damage from Rildo down to three. So it looks like he's going to. Uh, so he also awakened that turn. So there's a book in his hand. He's going to play his already up to six energy. Let's see what he's thinking about here. Looks like he has a Gohan in his hand. Uh, can't see. Is that a pain? Really? Piccolo. Come through his hand very is that quickly the, is here. That the, is that the sixth energy for Arturo? Yeah, I guess, he's he, just sixth energy. I guess he doesn't play any triple red. Right, yeah. So we got leader into Rildo here. Let's see if Arturo combos. I mean, or how how high he goes, rather. Because Jordan also with, uh, what, he has five or six cards, I think? We're up to 25. Did you King Vegeta surprise attack? Yeah, that's that's right. definitely what that looked like. Main boards. This, guy, this deck is interesting. So, double unbreakable Goku here. I, I think if you're real, though, you Oh, just, and a Mighty Mask? Jordan, yeah. I think if you're Jordan, you just let it go here. As we saw from the previous match, Jordan's deck is not short on haymakers. Right. So, Jordan just lets that real to die, as expected. Arturo with a Mighty Mask. That's a, that's a card. I haven't seen that for quite a, a, <laughs> a few time. months. Yeah. It's like one, one of my favorite cards, so it's... Let's see what he does with it here. Looks like he's playing it. It's one of my favorite cards from set two also. Yeah. Um, very, I just like playing toolboxy decks. It's a very toolbox card. I wonder what Trunks targets he has in this deck. Well, I'm going to assume, yeah. Let's see. Oh. oh, man, Unified Spirit. What a good choice. Just wow. Get the three drop Goten, just reuse yep, it. Yep, yep. Although, as we saw, though, yeah, it's, I don't, the, it's not it's super probably not gonna, gonna, it, It's probably going to be a... <laughs> combo fire. Exactly. So there's nothing wrong with that. So Arturo it's on it's tap. It's one of the few plus energy. ones in this game. So. Yep. So Jordan uh, is at five life, so he can't quite awaken, but it does look like he has a no opening Sun Goku in his hand. Yep. So I think Jordan is now going to be at six energy, right? He'll be at 6 okay. as well. And he has his optimal setup here. So I'm going to assume we attack combo with the new opens. Well, you also, you, you probably want to try to get a, a battle card out, like anything, really. You might just play Topo here. Like, I don't, 
I don't know if losing the card from yeah, it's not awakening yet. That's that minus one card might matter, but we'll see. Maybe he doesn't have a battle card he can really play. So he's going to combo up to 25. 25. He's playing the chain Zeno. As yep, yep. Oh, combos for zero. Why? What? What is going on? Okay, that that might have been a misplay. <laughs> Can't imagine comboing Zeno. Whoops. I yeah. guess he just didn't realize. I mean, I don't think you can take that back. Nope, I don't I think that's going to happen. I mean, at this point, you're just telegraphing to Artura. You're going to Zeno him. So if you're Artura, I think you just combo here. It's possible somebody say maybe it's for work. That is a possibility. Uh, Jordan does play Mighty Mask. Uh, not Mighty Mask. Uh, Mask Sangin. So. Yep. So, okay, so there's the combo cards that we saw him search for. So comboed out of that. Use the no openings. And I think you chain Zeno here and then you can awaken. You have the you have the advantage in terms of hand. Yeah, like I just eh, I mean maybe like I guess comboing the Zeno, he didn't want it in his deck. Do you think that was something he was thinking about? He doesn't want to redraw it from the Zeno? It's possible. Like I said, Jordan makes some strange lines of plays that I don't yeah. fully understand until after I play him. I mean that is possible. He just didn't want to do it again. So so Arturo draws into I saw a Piccolo and a Cabo for sure. So he'll awaken here. Is that a Super Sigma? I think he drew Super Sigma. I don't know if that's boarded, main boarded, or side. No, it's no. Well, it's game one, so I mean, I hope it's main boarded. <laughs> or else that'd be a little awkward situation yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> I would so, hope he wouldn't be. Here. Yeah. Pass his turn back here. Guys, I don't I don't think that Arturo awakened, drew two cards, attacked, drew a card, and then played an energy, and no one noticed. I didn't see anything. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't think that happened, guys. So if we if we don't address the situation, it's because it's a stupid thing to say. So we got uh, so Jordan now taking his Zeno turn basically. His mini turn. Yeah. Oh wait, no no I guess one yeah. Let's see what else we got here. Okay. So Jiren? Yeah, it looks like a Jiren. A Jiren from, from Arturo, gonna attack that Zeno, basically kill it for free. I know it's Jiren Fist of Justice, but every time I see it, I'm reminded of Kamal Fist of Croja from Magic. So Topo here <laughs> is gonna stop this next Jiren attack. I swear. Pretty big for Jordan here, that, that, that topo. <laughs> so Arturo passes with uh, five cards in hand. Yeah. Still trying to figure out what Jordan has. So leader here, I assume into leader. To a combo Gohan. Yeah, that combo Gohan's gonna be pretty good. Yeah. So now Jordan's gotta find a way to deal with this Jiren. I think he's gonna try and Bait out more cards I think with the Topo before playing something different. Yeah. So Topo, I can only assume is attacking Jiren. Okay. okay. Now we play something probably that will move. Chain attack? Nope, Rildo. Oh, Rildo. Oh, that's sick. That is so sick. I told you, Rildo is his trump card, man. Like this, this Rildo. Say, we all thought we all like. I, I could see it because we all thought it was a good card in our local, and then he just he just mopped everybody up. Wow! So so <laughs> that was a good card. So Arturo forced to take that damage now, gone down to one life. <laughs> see what Arturo does here to try to get back in this game. So we got leader on leader here. I think Jordan might be thinking about negating. Oh, okay, we're already to this step. What's Jordan at? Is that three life or two? I I can't imagine that I think he he's would, at three. Yeah, I'll say I can't imagine he would go down to two, so 
Well, remember, he was at three because he took the hit originally. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I assume it was, yeah, it was just to get a body on the board to get value out of the KL rather than basically right. trying to essentially uh, wrap a god on the board. You want to actually have the body. Yeah. So Kale's attacking the Topo. Topo. I'm sure Jordan does it. Let's have another Topo. Combo Gohan. Combo Gohan. Wow. Okay. I told you, it's defensively, it's really yeah. strong build. So, so you drew a, is that a, is that an ultimate? Okay, no, it's a kind of combo, yeah. combo Gohan. So Turtles is going to start off with a... Uh, I knew I didn't pick you for a reason. Okay, so that attack is stopped by a 5k. on the ground, Dusty. <laughs> Next attack. <laughs> You're just... <laughs> Let's see. So they combo out of that one too. So now our, our turret is down to I think four cards or is he at five? Yeah. Two, three, four. Okay. So this Zeno really just puts his opponents on the back foot there. Yeah. Just, they can't recover for a long amount of time. Oh, okay. So just Jiren. And then I said Jiren's deck is just unlike other SS3 yeah. decks. It's just filled, which is wild. Can't afford to save Kale there. So just have to, has to let go. All right. So Jordan gets uh, game one. So, so while while these players are uh, shuffling, you guys can now accurately check. Uh, talk to Jim, and he updated the team standings on the uh, Team Wars website. So you'll see that this matchup is pretty important for the team standings. Like, it's like six for your seat, get set up, so, so what do you think about Rildo, Pat? Do you think that card is going to see a lot more play now, or do you think that it's kind of like I a, mean, like a one-time no, guest appearance here at Harvard? I don't, I don't think the card's a flash in a pan. It's just a lot of people, like, you know, they wait for things to come around. Like, the Chain Zeno was, like, something that was known and around, and then it, it picked up momentum with Danny Hype. Mm -hmm. And, like, that, that seems to be the trend with you know a lot of players in this game and that's something i always try and stress is that you should you want you don't want to ever be a follower you would like to you want to figure out the game on your own and, and you know just because somebody says a card is bad you should actually play with it yourself and figure out if the card is actually good and that'll that'll definitely give you an advantage in these kind of tournaments yeah uh jordan like i said he doesn't doesn't really read facebook or any of this stuff he just goes home looks at the cards he has and says this card's pretty good i'm just gonna stick it in the deck oh it works all right i want my local with it cool let me take it to like a state level oh i want my state all right let me take it to like a, a big regional level of yeah no it's it's really surprising you know like uh, uh dusty and i tried a uh, a dr Miu deck with rildo and he was really impressive yeah. But I didn't think that he would ever have a home outside of something yeah, no, that, really dedicated I mean, that. goes to that. back to set one when I, I had built Tricolor Ginyu. Is mm -hmm. Everybody was like, oh, Ginyu's an aggro deck. And I was like, well, Cold Boss is a broken card. I'm like, yeah, but you have to play an aggro deck to play. I'm like, no, you don't. Just, right. just put good cards in your deck. Yeah, just, you just don't play have good to, cards. You don't have to play, like, the whole package. You don't have to play the three-drop, really. You don't have to yep. play the seven-drop, really. Just play, just play the five-drop. It's like, just a good card. It, if you play the best cards and then stop their best cards, probably pretty good. So post sideboard, we'll see how this matchup changes. Uh, I'm yeah. not sure what Arturo like said, has. We, we saw it. We saw it briefly in the previous game with uh, in game two for Jordan. Yeah, he brought Super in Sigma. the Sigma, the yeah. Super Sigma. Uh, I think that card's probably gonna come in again. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it seems like it'd be good in this matchup. Yeah, because just like real though, it's just it gets rid of most of Green's momentum. Yep. It's actually like quite funny. Um, even though he's his deck's mostly red, it's like he's almost assuming the control role. We always talk about like yeah. you know the aggressive player and the control player. Jordan is definitely like the control player in this matchup. Absolutely. He's just he's basically just constantly depleting your hands, keeping the board clear, and just sticking one bomb, and you just have to deal with it. Yeah, I totally uh, agree. I know, like I said, unfortunately for Arturo, he's just not in the I mean in the colors. I feel like to deal with it. Jordan's deck has really struggles in, uh, in the yellow right matchup uh, against a lot of Crusher balls. You get Crusher ball, the Ghost tanks, the Jirens, things like that. Uh, his deck also loses to decks that go go much bigger like that. I was about to say wow. Foo Shroud in a mystery, my trump card. Yeah. Yeah, Fu Shroud in a Mystery is the bane of Jordan's existence. Jordan like, can't I, be sad about seeing that. In no, Arthur I mean, at least now too. he knows he has the heads up that it's yep. there. Because he knows from playing against me a lot that that card will take him out. Yep. So, Arturo didn't attack with Mighty Mask, right? Like, I, I don't no. think he did. Yeah, okay. 
double rail double double double. 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 you gotta be feeling pretty good about that yeah this is uh i mean both both players can't be too sad about what they saw from the other players uh energy here the fact that Arturo still doesn't have any green, like you know, we saw Veggie's last game, and you know this game he's just n no green. I'm actually in sight. very, very surprised that Arturo does side that card. I, I can only assume it's for the Apes matchup. Yep. But and something like this, you assume too. That's really grindy. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's can it really come into play. So, is it possible you think that Arturo sideboarded out the Veggie package? Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. No, oh, okay, there's no, the Khalifa. There I mean, I assume you need at least the Khalifa. I, I anyway, would think, though. yeah. Just because the Khalifa is one of your self awakening and, cards. And, and Kale, too, even. It's hard to sideboard out Kale, yeah. right? I mean. Yeah. It, if anything, it's Kaba that, that would be yeah, the one that goes. Because yeah. Kaba is just a fetch. It, it, it's not as solid when you're not playing Shugash. So, yes. I mean, I can see he's you know, taking it out. So, 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 Jordan, again, is just charging and passing, which, you know, we've seen him do that. Pretty much every time he's yeah. on stream. I said, well, Jordan, Jordan, is, Jordan is very much, like I said, a, a control, control player. player. Yeah. He doesn't he's realize showing. it, but he's he's very much a, I, I'll play the, the safe game, the long, yep. grindy game. So, so Arturo gets his green energy. He did search for two green earlier, so he does have double green. So he, Jordan smartly didn't play anything last turn. And, yeah. you know, again, because... Uh, what he wants to do is yeah. make Arturo it, awaken him. Yes, he so, wants to not only make him awaken him. Yeah, um, it, it's taking like value away that, from yeah. his Gohan. Oh, is exactly. that is that a Vegito here to save the day? Uh, I don't think so. That looked like he charged the Kaba. Oh, did he drop no, his, in hand? his hand? That would make sense with the Mighty Mask. Yeah, that, that's a good question. I I I, I can't. That is. Wow. That, that is. He gets a, he put it inside in another draw engine. Yep. Interesting choice for yeah, Arturo. And a, and I like it. Yeah, yeah, in a grindy matchup, that card's going to get you there. Yep. So it looks like he is going to awaken Jordan here, uh, and then obviously come out with this Gohan. Yeah, like I said, this does feel like this is uh, falling a little bit into Jordan's trap, because like I said, like, one of the strategies in other card games is, as a control player, is you need you want to make your opponent commit, commit. to the board, Absolutely. so that your board wipe is incredibly devastating. Yeah. The more cards you invest, compared to his two-card combo, the better it is for him. You may begin. Totally agree. So now, what's what's interesting though is that now that Arturo has a board, he might not awaken to try to play around Chain Attack. Yeah, know? that's a possibility as well. However, he only has one energy open, so there is you have to weigh that decision. It's true. It's true. Because depending on what Jordan draws off the Zeno, it could be pretty, pretty devastating. Yep. But still, even with one energy open, I think you can probably stop at least one attack. So we're at uh, 25k here. So Jordan's going to combo. Jordan has awakened either, even though he's cable. Yep. I can only assume that, yeah, he is setting his yeah, opponent so up for the chain attack. Oh, no. He is awakening. Okay. So that like there's a little bit of a misplay. You didn't, I don't think you needed to combo the extra. Oh, no, it was Gohan attacking. Yeah, okay. it was 25. So gets okay, I thought it was for some reason it was uh, different, something different. So, okay, so now I'm sure it's going to awaken. So it makes me wonder if it's a bait. Yeah, you saw the chain Zeno. That was either up. a sick bait from Jordan or <laughs> maybe a bit of a misplay. I don't know. We'll, we'll As see. As I said, we said it in game well, game one of the last match. Right? Yeah. I was like, why wouldn't you just awaken and play right. the Jiren here? And it ended up just being a, a huge bait that won in the first game. Absolutely. So we're going to topo this. All right. This topo is going to be pretty sick, too, if, uh, if, if Arturo doesn't have... I think it's a really smart decision here. You you go up the line, you go you know to the five k, to the fifteen, to the twenty. Exactly. You basically, yeah. ladder him, yep. make him deplete his hand. If he does, you can commit to another strategy. Say right. ghost tanks. Otherwise, you can go for your reset. If he, you know, if he. Absolutely. So Jordan's hand, combo Gohan, Beast's coercion. I mean, he, he has a lot of defensive cards in his hand. So Arturo's leader should be tapped here, but I, I don't think that's really going to make a difference right this second. Okay. Combo's the chair. Yep. I, 
I, I mean, when you have the, the unbreakable there in hand, it's a little bit questionable. Like I said, maybe he is just, you know, planning for this. Right. Uh, he'd rather have the, the, if the, if the Goku has to get shuffled back, he'd rather, you know, that's better than Jiren. Yeah. Okay, so it looks so, like Jordan's not yep. committing to that that strategy. Go on of his own. Is, is he gonna attack his opponent's Go on? Is that what? Do a boo. That's interesting. One of these times I wish I had, I might have had uh, audio for the players so I can I can actually tell. Yeah. Not seeing the verbal cue. Yeah, it looks like looks like we are attacking Go on. I don't think he'd commit this much to do one damage. Yeah. All right, so we're up to 30k. Yeah. 15. So if I was Jordan, if I was going to commit the extra I, card there, I would have yep. went to 35. Same. Yeah, I think 35 is probably a better move here. Those are, somebody's asking, how do you play Topo with two black cards? Those are not black cards. They are Rildos. Yeah, those are Rildos. Is, yeah, they're foil. The, the foiling on Rildo is dark, so it makes the card look like it's black. Yeah, see what Arturo does here. Wait. He has to commit at least two cards here. Probably more like three. We know he has the unbreakable. So like he's, he doesn't really have to, in terms of right. plus and minus, he's right. not actually committing yeah. as much. Let's see. We're thinking here. So, so we're going to 25. So he needs another 10K. Or go on. Go on and we need to go one, one more. Please. OK. So that's again like we knew that he had he has combo gone for defense. Right, right. I probably would just throw one of those out there because it also diverts an attack. Yep. Now play a boo and draw a, a real though look like. So I shouldn't even know he played boo. I wonder when that was added. Ooh, like, so he changes sand. he changes things so wow. randomly in his list. Mass sand. That was either a sick bait by Jordan. Yeah, as I said. He's very, sick. very good. That He's a very good brutal. player. So he combos with Jiren, which which Jordan does, probably doesn't hate seeing. Yeah, like, that's great. So we, he's seen in that turn alone. He saw two Jirens out of his yep. opponent's hand. Yep. Jiren's cool. one of the few cards that it seems like these green red decks actually can use to get out of this situation. Yeah, he needs to warp those cards. Oh no, they they got it. They they, they yeah, got it. They got it. Okay. Yeah. okay. Team Judge caught it. All right. So it looks like he drew a Kaba. Arturo drew a Kaba, yep. which is not super helpful in this situation. Nope. Nope. Best it can do is clear Topo and Boo if, yeah, you, if you somehow snag the Kale. The combo is for sure going to be a combo. So, so Arturo here. Try, try to get outs for him. So Arturo is probably looking to play Kale here. Kale is going to kill uh, probably Topo and the Boo. <laughs> Let's see what he decides to do. He has a Kale. Uh, can't see what else is in his hand. His hand is not. Uh, he's got Vegito here to save the day, where I was from before. Yeah, I think. No. Okay, so he actually did play the Kaba. Oh, yeah. That's right. The Gohan got warped. Yeah. So since the Gohan's warped, you probably can't cast the Vegito. Because I would think that Vegito would actually be a pretty strong line here. Because it would be a 30k that draws you two cards. Right. That's a pretty easy way to board clear. Yes. Well, at least get true. something off the board. So Kaba's going to find Kalifa, which I assume is going to come into hand. Or do you think he'll just put it into play? Might put this into play, I guess. I mean, I think he needs the bodies. Like, his hand yeah. is low, his resource is depleted, and he has the Kale in hand. So right. at least lets him mitigate the amount of damage. Can he just keep attacking? Anthony now? Yeah, Danny has okay, to so, yeah, There's the Kale. I, th I think if you're your yeah. Arturo, you have to choose the top yeah. on the boo. He does. Oh, yeah, that's true. You, you, you have to put Leafla in the play so your Kale doesn't KO your own yeah. Kava. So that makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah. But choosing the Topo is huge here because he's an aggressive yeah, deck. Yeah. That card can very easily wipe out the board. Right. Topo, Which, I, an absolutely amazing common in this set. Like, it, it actually blows my mind how good he is for a yeah. common card. Absolutely. He, he could have easily been a rare or a super rare for how good he was. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, Jordan does have a Rildo, unless the card he drew was Mass Sand, and, and I'm just mistook, you know, mistook it for a Rildo. It's possible. I mean, Rildo is the slayer of veggies. Everybody yeah. at my local has stopped playing veggies because of Jordan Silver. <laughs> yeah, They're all on droids call, now. <laughs> so Kale, Art Arturo's a good card. So it's like the five now. cards, I think. I mean, I'm not worried about anybody. I lost a little shit. 
So, all right, let's see what we got. So, so Tori's still thinking here. All right, so, so we're attacking Gohan. Gohan. Yep. Once we get there, I think, think he's going to combo. Because Jordan can easily combo out of this. Yeah, oh, wow. Makes the problems worse. <laughs> <laughs> that said, if... Uh, so combo into... Ah, oh. oh, okay. Combo's good, huh? Gets rid of the Gohan. Smart play. Yep. He has Jiren and two two ghost tanks. So we're at the uh, 15k to 15k. Okay. Ooh, Draw there's, Zeno. There's a Zeno. That's no pretty... chain attack as, as far as I can see. It looked yeah. like it was two ghost attack uh, go tanks and a Jiren. Yeah. If he draws Rildo here. That's like every card he draws to me looks like Rildo. Like maybe I just yeah, really exactly. want to see yeah. it. Because yeah, you're just like you're so no, fast. That, that, that he is. did draw. He, he is, actually did, he actually draw, did Rildo. draw Rildo. So you just charge the yeah you charge it you just I think you just have to slam the real bow here. <laughs> this is man, wow. There's the real bow. So sick. So exactly, and he gets the cabo. Yeah, and he gets now the he's going to get the kale, yeah. I think, to, to, to please his opponent. Uh, well, well, actually, so he no, he's going to pressure. Kale, he's yeah. going to pressure the kale because the kale's only ten. Uh, it's only yeah, ten now. This is smart because his opponent has 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 to commit cards to save the kale. It's just going to die anyway. Yes. Again, I think you just you attack again. You would uh, you attack the go on the kale here. Oh yeah. yeah. Force your I opponent mean, to commit even. You already committed to the plan. I think you got to just stay on it here. Yeah. When you commit to something in this game, follow through. Yep. Hesitating is why you yeah. lose games. Our throw a reading just to make sure he knows what this card is going to do. I think he's aware. He's yeah, like, my well, kale is not he's living. Well aware. So, so I didn't see. So we're on c combat, right? So we're still Gohan is attacking Kale still. Correct. Okay. I think he, he he's got to realize that the Kale's there's no yeah. way he could save the Kale. It's a trap. So so Arturo, an out for him could okay. potentially be the so, yeah. you know Vegeta now, saves the day. Now we, uh, we obviously we go leader because the Khalifa yeah. is for sure dead. Right. There's yeah. no way to save him. Yeah. The, That's dying the, to roll. Though. The Khalifa is free. <laughs> Uh, so, so, so Jordan drew a Piccolo off of uh, the attack here. So that's that's again huge. It's pretty big. And I don't know how much. It's hard to see how much life Arturo is at. But if he's at three or le three or less yeah, here, yeah. So Arturo's life is very to. difficult to see. Yeah. Right in the middle of the table. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad. I'm somehow thinking it's this pile down here <laughs> above the the wonderful Gamer Inks logo. I'm sorry. <laughs> Even after I made that that comment about it, right. him, being, him being a dual masters player. <laughs> Oh man, where's my brain? It's been an exhausting weekend, right, so, guys. So Toro had the uh, topo to stop the Rildo attack. So did did lose his board, but as we saw, he can play Vegito saves the day here. We assume, like, yeah, they're all in his Vegito graveyard. Vegito is a very good uh, card here, but we're gonna get Jordan has his Piccolo, so right. He doesn't have and, and oh, did, yeah, he has Gohan in his graveyard, right? I oh, it did get warped. Did, yeah, did yeah. Did he combo with another? I, I think he might have. Yeah, you know what? He, that that go on did get warped, so he might not even be able to play it. Let's see here. Uh, it, Vegito is, is that like a, a victory a, strike? Son Goku, the GT one, whatever it's called. Victorious, uh, Victorious Fist. Fist. Yeah, I think he has that in his hand. Victorious Fist would be an interesting card. I mean, then again. Oh, oh no, it's, it's Psyched Off. Wow. It's Psyched Off. All right. So it's Trunks and Goten. All right. So he's going to draw two and be able to... KO the roll. I drew yeah, a boost Piccolo, so that's really good. Yeah. Wow. Oh, did, did, he, did he not KO anything no, off of the... No, he didn't. Or is it like a certain cost? I don't know what that card does exactly. No, it's, I believe it's if you have one one Trunks, I believe you draw yeah. a card, Goten right. is a KO. Did he not... Huh. Okay. Maybe he's chose not to, I guess. Can't imagine why. Oh, you know what it is? I think it's if you have the Trunks and Goten in your discard pile, you draw two. If you discard them from your hand, you get the KO, I believe. Is it? 
I don't think so. I mean, that, that's that's a, that's very strange. Yeah, but he had both, so that's why. Oh I no, I don't, I don't think that's how the card is at all. I don't know if, if, if there's a trunks in his discard pile. It's hard to oh, tell. Oh, no trunks in the drop. Yeah. Okay. It's hard to see what's in his work. Oh, you know what it is? I'm thinking Mighty Mass. I'm just making slip ups all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta get your head in the game, Pat. <laughs> so he was like, I don't know who he's attacking here. It's really hard to tell. All right, so obviously he's gone chain attack Zeno here because, again, he's comboing his Zeno. That is victorious, just so you called it right. Yeah. It's like a, a wonderful art guessing game here. He's going to Kamikaze attack here. So see what Jordan does. So has to play chain attack Zeno. Yep. The wombo combo. Man, this is pretty big. Like I think both players are at three life, right? Yeah. Arturo is down to. Oh, he wanted to kill the goat tanks. Okay, that makes sense. So he drew Kaba. Can't tell what Arturo redrew there, but it's, it's at least the Kaba. Which he combos with. So now we actually have no idea what's in his hand. Jordan on, on the other hand. Looks like it's a Kale. The rightmost card in yep. the hand is a Kale. Okay. And then there's the Kale. And there's the Kale. So again, no idea what's in Arturo's hand. But he is down to three cards from saving all this damage from the combos. Jordan obviously was six. So he didn't commit I'm anything else. I'm still waiting to see this other Fu Shredded in history. Yeah, that'd be uh, pretty brutal at this point. So he drew another. Uh, uh, that, that's a that's that, a fat stack for the discard pile. Yeah. I can't imagine there being any other card. So Khalifla looks like that's one of the. A, is that a foil topo, I guess? Oh, Shroud? Six. Did he draw two? Oh, Just good. Like good things. Okay. Sick draw, though. That's a pretty good player. I actually, like. I do like Arturo's side play, uh, sideboard plan in this game. Yeah. It seems like he sided into just a much stronger late game shell. Right. Which is uh, something that the previous match uh, he didn't have. Oh, wow. So. Another, another combo nice. gone. Drew Wieses. That's SS3 pretty good there. Just so, such a strong so Arturo's player. down to, I think, four or five cards, right? He's five. He has five yep. cards. Turn shifts back to Jordan here. That was another Rildo. <laughs> but can't tell because of the glare. But but the Go Tanks is 25k, right? Yeah, the Go Tanks yeah. is 25k. Yeah. So the Rilla is not the best right. player. Yeah, I can't. Something well, like, sort of might not be the worst though because you can. I mean, I'm not saying it's ideal, but if he has to kill Go Tanks, or you know, he can by Rildo shrink it, attack it, so on and so forth. But I, I'm sure he has better lines with that many cards in his hand. Oh, he's Jiren. <laughs> right. So Jiren is probably better. <laughs> So Arturo down to four cards. Here comes Jaren, I would assume. I yeah. have to assume it's Jaren here. So you get a free pressure onto the Gotenks. Yep. 30k on Gotenks. Arturo is going to topo that. Okay. So down to three cards now? I think. I'm trying to figure out what, what's the right play for Jaren here. Do you. Yeah, it's tough. Do you, do you pressure the topo? I, I think you have to pressure the Gotenks, right? Wow, he. Did, did he just not? Okay. Kind of confused about what just happened, but maybe attack the leader and he comboed, I guess. Yeah, had to attack the leader, I guess. So now Jordan is, uh, I don't want to say he's in a tough spot because his hand has at least the least coercion. Yeah. But it's not. If he lives through his turn, though, he's got a lot of gas yeah. in, the, in the tank. Can't tell what Arturo drew there. Uh, he, he has a Kaba oh, and a Kalifa in his hand, I think. Arturo has to be happy though. Uh, untapping with the Go Tanks in play, you can't really ask for much more than that. Yeah. So we're, we're gonna combo to 20k, which I think that's just gonna get plus 10k here. Yeah. That was you see the Zen now. See the Zen. I don't think he has trunks though. I don't think right now. Yeah. So it, real, it looks like. I think he keep this Jiren in play. Oh wow! So this is gonna get Lisa's for sure. I, yeah, I would imagine this would get Weiss as well. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's taking it. it too. 
Yeah. So, it's, it's, is, so that, is that a piccolo? And, uh, Jordan is just setting up for the kill. Shroud. So now he has. Uh, no. Nope. So. Oh, okay. He he, he combo with the trunks. I think. Right. Okay. So that time he actually did have the yeah. trunks in the yard. So he did got get does get the KO here. All right. Let's see what's going. I, would, I imagine that has to get. The yeah. Game. So that gets negated. So so Arturo has a commanding advantage now after a double go tanks. So Jordan might just be looking for the. Uh, I feel he has to be looking for the chain. Attack. Chain attack, yeah. So wh what about uh, ghost tanks? Do you think that's an out for Jordan as well? What's your How many in here? Three, four. Uh, four, I think. Four. One, two, three, four. Well, yeah. we know that Jordan has a super combo. So, right. Ghost Tanks actually does seem like a pretty viable line here. What he's going for, it looks like. Oh, there it is. Ha has he attacked with Leader yet? No, has not attacked with Leader yet. So, Jordan also has Mass Saiyan in his hand. So, like, this is... Uh, so obviously he he's looking to combo down here. Arturo now down to three cards. If I was Jordan, I think I want to at least use my piccolo here to force. Oh yeah, for sure. Like no, no question. So, so I, think, I think every card in Arturo's hand is a 5k. So that puts you in a situation to not be lethal to the ghosts or the go tanks. You have to. So we're at 25 to 15 at the moment. Arturo gone through the drop area. You know, I think as, as long as Jordan doesn't do something to uh too crazy. Yeah. I felt since we know he has the mass saying. Yeah. I think this is going to be game. As I think long as he I think this is going to be this this depending on how Arturo plays this, this could be very easily be game in the next couple of minutes. Yeah. So so Jordan, as we're looking at this and and, and seeing Arturo's hand, it does look like Jordan has game. Yeah, it does. It, it does. Pretty yeah. in hand here. Let's, let's see if. Arturo can find a so way. He, he okay, so it was gone, the, I gone down to two. Now, how far did he take off the life? I didn't see what he got off the life. That that's gonna make all the difference. That is scientist scientist food? Food? Looks like scientist food. So Jordan attacking here. Uh, you know, Arturo. Uh, I would assume at this point. If it goes unnegated, Jordan's yep. just going to dump down the yeah, three cards you, you, to double yeah, strike down and make it cards, lethal. Play, play so topos. topos. Okay. So he drew a topo, I think, off the... Uh, no, he drew two off the light. Okay. I think at this point you do the mass same. Yeah, just yeah, because get you get combo. to get the combo yeah. card off the board. And now... Now I, I think you go in with mass Saiyan. Yeah, you go in mass Saiyan here. And then, and go, then you just shotgun yeah. him, and if he right. doesn't... No, I would not go in with leader. Do not go in with leader. Well, you can attack Topo. It's fine. Yeah. Okay, just to see another card. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah so now now we're down to enough cards at the end. Everything else is 10Ks yep. in his hand. Yeah, we got so it. We got, we got, yeah. All right, close, sure. really close game there, guys. Yeah. That was an excellent, Jordan, excellent Jordan match. Jordan gets the check back and forth. Very so, good game. Jordan 2-0 over uh, Team CGU, uh, Comic Game Universe, Arturo Rod Rodriguez. Yes. So which, which I, I think now actually confirms the team finals to be uh, Kitchen Table Meta Team A against Bearded Collectibles. I think that now locks that into place. Oh, man. We might get to see uh, an appearance from the boy, Matt. <laughs> yeah. So. Although I would have to imagine that Bearded would probably start Hernandez and... Uh, Ryan Severin and Dashy, I would assume would Dashy, be yeah. three. or Matt Coons. It's yeah. either going to be Matt or Dashy, but like, yeah. so that'll, that'll be fun. That that'll be streamed, I'm sure, and uh, also another really fun <laughs> series to watch. So, all right, guys, we'll be back for the top four here, uh, probably not too long from now, mm -hmm. and see who can close this event out. <laughs>